Hey everyone, it's Cassidy from Athens Social Media and today I'm going to teach you how to use Hootsuite. By the way, I'm using Jing Pro from jingproject.com to record my screenshot. So, if you're not familiar with Hootsuite, it's an aggregator tool, which means that it's going to allow you to update and manage all of your social network accounts on one page. And this is going to save you a lot of time if you have multiple accounts because you aren't going to have to go to twitter.com or facebook.com and log in and out of all of your accounts. And I like Hootsuite because it's clean and user friendly and I can do everything I need to do on one page. So you can see all my different Twitter accounts. I have our Twitter account at Athens Social Media, my personal account, I've got our Facebook page, my personal Facebook page, and my LinkedIn. So really the first thing you're going to want to do after you set up all your social network accounts during the setup process, you're going to want to create tabs. And tabs are really just ways to organize your different feeds for your different networks. So as you can see, I have my Twitter, my Facebook, and our Twitter for Athens Social Media and our Facebook. And within that, I have different columns for different feeds. So this is my home feed and these are my mentions and my sent tweets and I can also have lists and for the Facebook I just have my news feed and so now I'm going to show you how to set up a tab so you're going to click that little plus button and name your tab I've named mine after my different social networks because it makes it easy for me to organize and I'm going to select auto refresh for every five minutes because that seems manageable to me so I'll click create tab and the little Hootsuite guy is going to ask me to create columns. So I'm going to click the plus sign for add column and this is where it gets kind of cool. So you can have different social network feeds but since I just did our Twitter I'm going to have our Twitter social network feed but for Facebook you'll have your news feed and your status updates. LinkedIn pretty much the same thing. WordPress which is still in beta you'll have your blog feed but for Twitter I'm going to do um, mentions, but I can also do direct messages, my sent tweets, pending tweets, my home feed. I'm going to do mentions for Athens social media. And I'll click create column. And then I'm going to do uh, Twitter lists. They used to have group, but since Twitter lists came around, they're kind of phasing that out and they're working with Twitter lists. It's still in beta, but I think it's doing a pretty good job. So I'm going to do Athens social media. You can do a list that you subscribe to or a list that you create. So I'm going to do our local biz list and create that column. And also what's pretty cool is I can move around my columns if I wanted my list to be first. And I'm going to go ahead and show you another thing you can do, which is keyword tracking and search. Search and keyword tracking are kind of similar, but search is kind of going to be more like a Google search that updates in real time. Whereas keyword tracking is, is going to allow you to look up three different things. So for example, I'm interested in looking for WordPress blogs and WordPress templates. So I'm going to do WordPress, uh, WordPress blogs, WordPress templates, just to kind of see, you know, what WordPress is all about right now in real time. And it's going to create a new column for me and I'll be able to see what everybody's talking about when they talk about WordPress. So really that's how you create your different columns and your tabs and it's really just going to organize everything for you. You won't have to go to a separate page to look at your lists and you won't have to search for yourself. It just it all comes up right here. So good luck with setting up your Hootsuite and check back because I'm going to show you different ways to update your status. Thanks guys. Bye.